Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Paper Mario. Let's go in here. I think there's a thing in here, I think. In the last episode we got Dottie. And she can shrink us! Look at that. What's this? Car key, a car a door to a key to a door to the processing center. Oh great, this is gonna be one of those days where I can't talk, isn't it? Please insert car key. So what's in here? Okay. What's what's this? Oh, we need that. Anything? Who's that, dude? A ladder. Okay. So, can we? Can we do this? Yes. Wait, what? What's going on? So what's the so what's the purpose of that? Like going going here? Oh god, there's a curse here down there. Did you, see how, did you guys see that? Wait, what? Aha! So long last, you come to play like a late, like late, Who's that? Oh, it's you guys. Dementio and Ochunks. Ah, oh, do you not tire of collecting those one-out tiresome pure hearts? I am not buying up my nature, you know. I prefer to settle this peacefully, in fact. So, for instance, you wish to go back to your world. I can do that for you. We are not interested. Ah, so it must be. Shall we begin? Um, I forgot. I forgot this. I seriously forgot this happened. Ugh, I haven't you learned a number. How often we fight in the same? My, my, aren't we plucky? Same fight, same outcome. You are precisely correct. And that is why. Broke what? Not the green hat, wouldn't you say? But what? The old chunk, so strong, yet so very dim. A child could learn his attack patterns. As such, I will request a few sprouts from my acquaintance to liven him up a touch. I called the boy. Oh, cabbage. Let me say, oh, cabbage. Introduce yourself. Cabbage. Ah, simply, simply normal. Now remember, kids, eat your vegetables to go big. Except in this case. I bet you will eat you. Have fun. Ciao. Alright. So. Oh god! So in this fight, he's, he, he, he's a little harder. He has a lot more moves. Hold still, let me hit you. Can I use Bowser? Let's see. Where is she? There she is. Damn you, sir. Let's see. What can I use on your ass? Oh, a padlock. That sucked. Um, do this. There we go. Okay, I'm not. I'm, okay. Oh, really? We're gonna do. We're gonna do that crap now. I want you to melt your hammer. Really? And stun you and smush you. There we go. Uh -huh. I'm not doing that because it's it's like weird. <laughs> What engraving am I doing here? 
Huh? Well, what are you doing here as well? Oh, I get the picture. You long white challenge new proof old chunks. Y'all yeah, got pepper in your pants. I gave him that. This time you you get ruined. Oh, really? You know he's going like a starving dog. We're gonna rule number one. Never fight on an empty stomach. It's his madness. Sorry, but we got to call him dead. Can we go buck around the ruler rules? Next time, no, you, you're done. Chunks away. <sighs> God, seriously. Look, this bat from his head is the same as the floor fire crack ons. Looks as though he's nearly dead, though, however. So we got a floral spell. Oh, Chunks dropped the sprout. What do you think? Would you could try it on? I believe we'll be safe. I'll wear it. You didn't turn into a cabbage. That's nice, I guess. This would come handy. Do put on and take it off. It's about one important thing is on the menu screen. Yeah, so now we got a thing. I know that was not the voice I did hear from him earlier, but... Ah. Hmm, if I could beat that one of old chunks, then they're coming along quite nicely. Perhaps they really are the ones I've waited for all this time. Aha, I should have prepared myself as well. So much to do, so precious little time. Pot spoilers! Alright. So, so, that's, so that, that, that's all we need to do there. Do do. Now, if you remember, there's a. There's a pipe on here somewhere, isn't there? Oops. So, so much switching. Ah! I remember there being a pipe on here somewhere. I guess it's up here. Because something tells me that we need to go in there, too. There it is. Whoa, what's this? Oh, I need that. Cause I think we got another boss fight coming up too, so. Who's that? Do we really need those? I guess we. Well, I guess. I guess it can't hurt. So tiny. In we go. Yes, this is where we need to go. So, so, so now we so now we can get through. Alright, so I like we so I like I like reading these right here. Oh god, hang on. I like reading these. King Croak is the first reign. First king of the Florida Kingdom, Croak is the eye, is known as, as the greatest of kings. He united the Florida peasants under a single cause, creating the Florida Kingdom. He made a capital here and established a calendar and begun the king at the kingdom's birth. Heavily armored, he wore deadly thorns and became to be called the Iron Rose. The king's, kingdom's infra infrastructure and early roads were built by King by Croak's eye design. But when his success was successful, the, pr the prince wilted unexpectedly, so did Croquet's eye spirit. The, fl the floor year 444 marked the star start of his reign of fear, the darkening. Eventually, Croquet's eye and his foul regime were overthrown in the sappy coup, coup d'ia, whatever that was. The king was struck down, marketing the official end of the darkening. His wilting words said, The iron drill shan't wither, but wither he did. I like how there's like I just I just love this stuff. Queen Crocus the second. Crocus II was the daughter of the great ruler King Crocus the first. Crocus II was imprisoned by the from being critical of the former king's policies, but when overthrown by the people, Crocus II was freed and given the throne. Her efforts to reduce taxes and study diseases made Crocus II very popular. 
and mental her fleet influence may help erase the scars of the darkening the darkening had left. She complied her a flower spasm prehistory called the Flictional Rage, something like that. Her, the book was to be her legacy, a historic mark of her benevolent influence. Crocus, too, feared the fight of her throne might be ensured if she bore many heirs. She had but one heir, but late in her life, she earned her time the White Maiden. Alright, you guys, come on now. I want to read this. King Crocus the Third. Crocus III was just one when his mother wilted. He became the youngest king ever. The young king had a great pre like whatever that was, and talent for poetry and art. His talent was evident in, in works like, like the Ice Rose, a book of poems from his 37th year. He was also afflicted by a ter terrible disease from the time he was born. Without ever impacting the affairs of his kingdom, he wilted at age 88. The cause of his wilting was never made publicly. Many suspected a conspiracy. This was never confirmed. King Crocus the Fourth, formerly a regime for King Crocus III, he ruled in place of the frail child king. After Crocus III's wilting, his circus was recognized, and he was made king. Stabilizing the influence of political savvy made him popular and well known. His recent achievements include. In the fall year 1625, he invented a method for mind controlling the Krakons. In the fall year 1626, he spearheaded an, an, an initiative to inflate Krakons' emasi. I like how there's like lore, so you flip it right here. There's a bumble thing on the, on the ground. So sorry, sorry about reading all that stuff, but I like it. I think I just think it's really neat that there's like lore in this. So what we need to do? I think we need to throw him up there. Oops. There's things in here. I gotta remember the the thing. There's so much. Hmm. Sorry, I mean, quite. I'm like, I'm like thinking. Is there a particular order? I don't think there is. Oh, I'll take that crap! I get it. Okay, that took me a few minutes, but I get it now. The switch has changed colors. Oh god. Oh, crap. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. So this one's white, and the other one's black, and this one should be blue. It should be it. Wait a minute. Shouldn't be a thing here? Aha. I was gonna say that's kinda of, kinda of weird. I tied that there. No, Mark. Turn, turn around. There we go. It's a very strange puzzle. If I do say so myself. It takes you a few minutes to 
me to maybe figure it out at first. That's pretty cool. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Because we have a boss fight. Oh, we. Where are my pretties? Pretty was beautiful things. Oh, we bring them to me. More, more, more. Whoa, what is this hideous clashing thing? Um, are you King Crocus? Ooh, wee! So you must be the intruders I heard so much about. But I do not forget the great I don't know, the great tragedies of my beautiful kingdom. No wee! That's your want! King Crocus, you must release the crack onto you and slip. Never! The surely bars make such fine workers, it's exquisite! I need them to dig out more gems so I can buy more ability uh, joke palace! Ooh wee! Oh, how powerfully horrid. Release it in this instant. Trash is garbage. No matter how you dress it, the world is made for beauty. And if you need some proof, then have a look at this. <gasps> it's the pure heart. I can hear it in your voice. You want it so badly, I can hear it. You can barely think, hmm? Seems we all seek beauty. So how dare you take a high horse over me? Don't compare us to you. Nothing like you. Your papa hurts my ears and your smell is wilting me. I can't stand you no longer. I really took to touch things, but I'm destroying you myself. Because they're in honor. So, um, Crocus is a dude. Is a dude, but I gave it a girl voice because, to be fair, it looks like a girl. I just think this is the coolest boss fight ever. I'm sorry, but I think it is. Who are you? Here I come. Yeah, I'm sure. Now back at. Oh shit. Let me do that. I need a. Yeah, oh, but no. Stop that! Why am I getting hit so much? Okay. So, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to. There we go. I don't think I did any damage though. I'm sorry, I think this is cool. This is one of the coolest boss fights ever. The concept is easy. It's, 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 the concept is easy, but it's just like... So, um, I, I was wondering, are these like his children or some or some, some, some crap? There we are, I, I damaged him a little bit. It's actually best to just grab him and just do it like that if you can. There we go. That was close. Five damage, heck yeah. Uh, let, me, let me put that defense thing on. Oops, oh well. Some defense, there we go. The music here is pretty cool. It's pretty cool too. Oh, you touch, you touch the storms. It, does, it doesn't. It hurts you like way bad. There we go. Oh, is he dead? There we go. And you can grab his, like, grab these like these like little things, and when he blooms or whatever you call it, throw it at his face. Attack me. Okay, so what, what I was saying earlier, I gave him like kind of like a like a, like, a, like a diva voice because that's kind of what it, he reminds me of. Give me that. Open up! Come on. I want to hit you. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm losing the time. Die. <laughs> His face. 
beautiful! Isn't it that well? I am. I am beautiful. King King Crocus. Wait, wait, wait! What did you guys do? We have defeated your king. Get over it. Damn, Tippy, you on something? Hey, shut up! You don't get it at all. King Crocus was awesome. He totally thought of his people first, man. And you, you wilted him. What? What are you talking about? Water, man! I'm talking about the water. The Kragons were polluting our water. So it was the Kragons' really, fault, really. Those dudes were tossing trash into the river. We had to drink that crud. The dirty water has no door like King Broncos. Don't you get it? So then, oh. Of course I knew it all along. Uh, sir, you go away. Crackly ho! Emergency special report in the front line for all the front lines. Environmental pollution drives floor spasms bad. Whether they rent. What? Okay, no, I'm not. So the village was throwing garbage in the river. Was the reason for this whole thing? Well, I tried to tell those drives, but the thought, my thoughts were far ahead of that time. The play was. Let's, let's play well with green crack on crowd. Things explode, brah. It's like crack on ice meets. Baron Ron Craggington. What? Yes, once my fellow villagers seen this, they surely realized out of their ways. Unless the words of crap finally reached them, they would throw garbage no more. Yeah, water, man. I mean, it's easily our most precious treasure, you know what I mean? You promise not to dirt our water and we'll just chill down here and be cool. And we'll totally take those sprouts off your villagers' nongas, man. Sounds like a fine way to keep peace in the land. You keep those promises, folks. That was rather honest, but it turned. Really, on our king aside, you guys are totally heroes. You should totally take this. One of our earliest kings received this safeguard until the hero's arrival. Our people have kept the promise for like 15,000 years or something crazy like that. I'm sure our wealthy king here would be stoked that you got this duty done. I still got the thing on my head. And we get another blue heart. This one's, te this one's technically darker blue, but... We got a pure heart. Another blue one. <laughs> In a chapter. Men of true great witness live. Uh, Men of true great witness live. They're alive on what? What? What others can only see through cracked vision. Oh, and that's what that's what makes me move through travel into the belly of the beast week after week. Thanks again for watching. Until the next time, Cragly Ho. Having wrapped a later suit. Flint and crew went down to the back, back downtown of Crag. Mario and his friends clutched the six beer heart as they walked back towards the flip side. Our heroes had taken new steps toward overturning prophecy and destruction. That's <sighs> so many voices. <sighs> you raise your chunks in the air as the most definite man been in his room. Springing forth his land as me both all to spare her cow. What? Whoa, that's our black, blackity blue. Yeah, something black. Then got like who says. What? Oh, he's still like hypnotized. Gosh, oh, Chunks, quit it! You were making the windows, what are you yelling about? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, I just had oh, Chunks come with a nice motivational tune. And his punishment is for getting beat by the hero again. I'm making him sing it 1,000 times. What? 1,000? 1,000 times? Gosh, you did more even than I thought! Hey, but not chatting. Where is the count, eh? I wanna see him. He hasn't called me to go do anything. I'm getting so bored. Hey, can't. Wait, who, who's saying that? I'm oh, distracted little friends. He's all gassed up, itching back into, uh, back into action. Yeah, bro, boss. Then begging me to take him out. Say the word, and I'll roll out. Yeah, great enthusiasm, but like, shell the robot action for now. Plan now, okay? The thing is, the count, the count left specific orders for us to stand by. I got that. No way, we're just supposed to wait here for that big mean hero to come guess! So the count doesn't need myself. It's excellent. I'll just be off then. Wait, what kind of accident was that? You go nowhere! We wait! It's the count's direct order. His word is absolute. It's a good little minion. Do not move until Toad. Okay, thanks. I'm, a, I'm bored! 
And Bubba Caves is daily smash. You got the Lord around here. And there's no action. Why can't my voice my getting Luigi now? Aha, hard to stay when you stay still when you're praying for vengeance, isn't it? Got so many voices. Demi Dementio. The counters are absolutely, absolutely complete without him. Or absolutely complete without ex ex exception, yes. We shouldn't even dare to think about this sneaker sneak attack. Perish thought. Defeating the hero would please the count greatly, but we must follow orders. Oops, I just remembered something real important. I gotta go. I'll be back in the chief. Bye. Get up here. Yeah, yeah. I just got a deflavorizer, blood bots, um, flavorizer. I'm trying to once everything's up to code. Later, later, later Dimitro. Ah, I mean, I mean, isn't that something? I do believe I should be moving on as well. Look, depending, the stars are beautiful, aren't they? There's a tradition in my village. We believe that the wishes on the stars come true. Oh, is that so? In that case, we better get wishing, don't you think? I don't mean no wish anymore. Hmm? I already got my wish. Now, I have everything I need right here. Tiffany, are you cold? No, no, no. I'm very warm. Can we stay like this? Just a little longer? Ew. God, this is going to be a long episode. Tippy? Tippy? Oh, she fainted again. Oh, no, she didn't. Okay. What? What? What's the matter, Tippy? You seemed a little out of it there. Well... Did you just hear something? No? Alright then. It's just that for a second I thought I remembered something very important. Oh, I got past his arms! <laughs> the void. It looks like it's getting up, gotten bigger. We need to open the door to the next world quickly. Let's hurry. Yes, we do. But I'm gonna save. Because <laughs> it's become a very long episode. <laughs> If Merlin comes out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> I really am. Okay. Oh, you're back. Oh, god damn it! Have you seen the sky lately? The board counts as it grow larger. I imagine that some worlds are already gonna start to, 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 to decay. I wonder how long our dear flip side will be spared. The fight. The light, the light something didn't say anything about how long we have. The light, the light thing was <laughs> was the only written to count out the dark one. As such, it's not truly part of it. It's hard to say how long we really have. And yet, I feel confident in saying that we do not have much time at all. Well, we can only go forward now. We cannot just wait until we're all worlds end to end, can we? Of course, you're right, my dear. I received message about no, no ream recently. It seems that someone on the outskirts of Flop Side is part of the Pillar. As you know, that's taking the next Heart Pillar, you should. That's a good place to start. I will go back to Light Pronosticus and turn look for clues. Alright, we will go to the next Heart Pillar in the next episode, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.